lunch is over, it was pretty tasty. If you want to check out the video, there's a, another link floating around up here somewhere. Right then, so we're going to finish out today basically by sorting out all this wood. What we're going to do is we're going to separate it into a few different piles. We're going to separate it into piles of wood that will split with the axe. Something that's got a fairly straight grain, which will chop down fairly easy. Anything that won't, sort of pieces like this look, they can go straight into the wood burner, so that's a separate pile. Um, and then once all that is moved out the road, we're going to tiller everything, get it all nice, shift the pallets, and I'm going to break down all this fine stuff ready for cooking. We're in a position now, we've got this area cleared, so we're going to go at it with a tiller and get it all nice and levelled off. And then we're going to start by putting the, the logs that can't be split and will, will be used directly into the wood stove. We're going to start by stacking those as we go along, uh, at the same time separating every, everything out. Okay, perfect. So that's pretty much all of the, uh, almost all of the sort of gnarly stuff that, that I can't split, uh, all sort of put in its place now. So we're going to have a bit of a tidy up on, on all this stuff and get it ready, uh, move it all over to, into a big pile of, of wood that needs splitting. So we're just going to create a, a bit of a neat pile of stuff. You can see it's this type of thing here, that there as well, very straight grain, it's going to split, no bother at all.
got any pieces that are a bit too long to go in the wood burner, I'm going to stack them just here so we can chop them down to the size with the chainsaw. Another one example. Oh, that's a beast. Okie dokie, so that's pretty much all the uh, the wood sorted out now. So for now, I'm just going to um, light this little light this little bonfire here and start just gathering up all the leaves and everything, getting it going, and then we're going to stream and tiller this area as well. So now we've got this area tillered, um, it's going to stop the weeds coming through quite as fast. So in this corner over here, what we're going to do now is take all the fine stuff that we uh, we chopped off, the, pruned off the tree, and it's ready for cooking. It's been seasoned over the last year. We're just going to break it down and stack it in this corner over here, so we've got close access for when we're cooking. Okay, that's pretty much all that done now. So um, what we're going to do to finish off is we're going to put the strimmer head uh, back on the strimmer. We're going to blitz all the long grass that obviously this was covering. Then we're going to whip that off. We're going to put the tiller head back on. We're going to till everything and then have a bit of a general tidy up. Okay, so to remove this, so we just unscrew it. Just slides off. And this, and we just crack them down.
think that's us pretty much sorted for now, which is cool. Looking very tidy, which is nice to see. It's going to be lovely doing the cooking in this area now. Now it's all looking nice. Okay, I'll take you on a quick walk around, show you what I've done. So what we've got here, as I've said before, is all these ones here are uh, too big or too gnarly to split. So they're going to go straight into the uh, wood burner in the house as they are. All these, these ones here, obviously good kindling for starting the, the wood burner, but more importantly, they're really good for, for cooking, especially when you're cooking something that requires a lot of flame. We've just got the bonfire there. We've just had a bit of a rake around, as you can probably see. And anything that was left is basically it's just on the bonfire there. So I've got my stump and all my axes and whatnot over there, ready to go. All this area here is basically wood that can be split with an ax. So what we'll do is we'll just spend the next few weeks, and if I've got a spare moment, we'll just come out and we'll just split some of this wood. And then we'll start a new pile once it's all been split, sort of in its final pile. Ideally, this, this wood, once it's split down, is what I'm going to store over by the house in the, uh, in the wood storage, but uh, I'm going to have to make that first. Uh, so that's an upcoming video, pallet, pallet wood wood storage uh, shed. Uh, but for now, it's just going to have to sit in the, uh, here in the campo. And as we just come over the other side here, you can see all this stuff's just too long, basically. It just needs cutting in half with a chainsaw or with a, with a handsaw. Uh, and then it can, we can decide if we're going to split it or we're going to just chuck it straight in the wood burner. As we move in, look a little bit further away. And we can see now how nice it's all looking. Okay, folks, I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm going to... Uh, Spend the next half an hour or so just keeping an eye on this this fire here making sure it doesn't burn out of control so as the sun sets slowly in the west i bid you a fine farewell catch you next time